Hey friends, I'm Robin and this is BitBirdie. Today I'm going to talk about why I went with Godot over Unity for my pixel art games, and really any 2D game projects that I start from now on. So I'll be going over three main reasons why I made the switch. If you're new to the channel, I usually make devlog videos about my pixel art game that I'm making in Godot, and I also make tutorials sometime as well. So if that interests you at all, make sure to click the subscribe button so that you can follow me on my game dev journey. So I'm just going to start off with a really quick backstory. When I discovered Unity at around 2016, I just fell in love with the engine. I fell in love with game dev. I used Unity for side projects and also professionally until about 2019. That year, I left the games industry to go into web dev, and I also started using Godot instead of Unity for my hobby projects. So I haven't really kept up with Unity's updates since then, but I did download the latest version so that I could play around with it before making this video. But definitely let me know in the comments if something I say is totally outdated now. Okay, so the first reason why I stopped using Unity was because its 2D functionality just lacks basic features, especially for pixel art. For example, let's go through the process of importing a sprite to use in your pixel art game. So you drag it in. We need to change the settings to sprite, point, filter mode to point, and compression to none. We'll need to apply all these settings so that this shows up crisp and without any color changes. So that doesn't seem too bad, but what happens if we want to import another one? You'll see that we have to do all three settings again for every single sprite that we ever want to add to our game. There's no such thing as default import settings in Unity. Now let's see how we would do this in Godot. I'll drag my sprite in, go to the import tab, and there's actually this preset menu that has a 2D pixel setting that takes care of everything for you. And then if we want, we could set as default for texture so that any other textures we import in will have the same settings. And now we never have to worry about this ever again. Apparently you can write a script in Unity to add default import settings, but it just seems like such a huge hassle for something that should just be built in. And there's another huge thing that's missing in Unity if you're gonna be working with pixel art. So here I am in Unity again, and I'm just gonna move around the sprite and show you that when you move it around, you're moving it by these weird decimal values here. You can't actually move it pixel by pixel, which you can in Godot. The units are just automatically in whole pixel units. Additionally, if you wanna use Unity for your pixel art game, you have to import this 2D pixel perfect package, which does a bunch of magic behind the scenes to make Unity actually suitable for pixel art. But the thing is, it's kind of a hassle to work with and I never really got used to it and just gave up on my projects that use this package. It might be better now. The last time I used this was like two years ago or something. I might've also just gotten really impatient with this because I was already used to Godot's workflow at that point. All right, so the second reason for switching to Godot was that it's open source. This means its source code is available for anyone to see, it's free to use, and you get to keep all the profit that your game makes. You can even contribute features or bug fixes to the engine if you want. Unity's personal edition is free to use, but if your game makes over 100K in a year, then you'll have to start using the pro version. This isn't really that big of a deal because 100K is a lot of money. But for me, when I started using Unity in 2016, they had important features like the profiler and even dark theme locked behind the pro version. Fortunately, you guys get that for free now in the personal edition, but back then it just felt bad. And this is not something you'll ever experience with Godot because it's open source. The third and final reason I switched to Godot might actually be a reason not to switch for most of you. It's the fact that there isn't very much online content yet for this engine. So there's a lot of room for creators like me to make videos that'll actually show up in your YouTube search and recommendations. And it's easier to find gaps in the content being created. For example, I made this bullet hell attack tutorial that got quite a lot of views relative to my other videos. And I think it's at least partly because there aren't any other tutorials about this. So it's really nice to fill the gaps and help people make their games. All right, I hope this video helps some of you who are on the fence about which game engine to pick. If it did help, make sure to like and subscribe. And if it didn't, like and subscribe anyway. And leave a comment down below with any thoughts you have. I'll reply to every single one. Okay, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.